Hey folks, BFG Neil here. Today's going to be a quick video about SD card replacement on rack hotspots. There's a quick caveat, this is only for rack 1.5s, 2s, minted gold spots or black spots. If you have a rack 1, you're advised to clone the SD card when you first receive the unit. You'll need to copy that clone for a new image. Now there are a few sample cases when you need to replace the SD card. The first one is that you're seeing in the Bluetooth diagnostics that there's a disk error. The second is that you can't access a Bluetooth diagnostic, so it's not booting up or you just can't pair with it. The third is that it shows a solid or flashing green status LED. And the last one is a very old block height and or firmware version in diagnostics. The other thing to note about racks is they come as standard with a 32 gig card. As the Helium network's grown, it's meant that the blocks have become much larger. And currently every four to six weeks, a 32 gig card would fill up. This causes the Helium firmware to run garbage collection, which actually deletes the blockchain. It starts fresh and it downloads a snapshot. Now, one further thing to complicate this is that Rack use snapshots to load the blockchain. So this is very much tied to validators agreeing to a snapshot, so a blessed block height. And sometimes this can fall behind. So often in a month, it could be the middle of the month and you just find that you're suddenly sinking 7,000 blocks. Um, this is because the disk's a little small, so I take this opportunity to upgrade to a bigger card. Overall, if you're running a 32 gig card right now, you'll probably see a couple of days downtime, and in a worst case scenario, it might be four days because of the blessed block. This is not something Rat could have foreseen. Helium know about it, Helium designed validators, and we'll soon be moving to light, light gateways in quarter one, 2022. Now this this will see much less wear on SD cards and there'll be much less reason to store things locally. So this should be the last time you sort SD cards in a while. As for SD cards, I recommend these A2 rated 64 gig cards from SanDisk. You can do 128 gigs, but I feel like it's a little bit overkill at this stage and we'll soon be with light gateways where you'll have less data transfer being put onto these disks. Okay, let's get started. And the first thing we want to do is go to the rack guide. Uh, this is linked in the description of the video, so if you need to get this, it then once again shows you all the, the reasons that you might want to do this and a link to download the firmware. So download this firmware. We're also going to be running Bellina Retcher, which there's a link for here. So if you need to grab that, grab that. So once you've downloaded and opened Bellina Retcher, it's really easy to use. There's only three things we need to do. The first one is select the file that we downloaded and click flash from file. The second is select our target, which is our SD card. And now we click flash. The first thing it will do is decompress the image, flash the image, then validate it and that's it you're good to go first thing you want to do is remove the power from your hotspot then we can remove the sticker hide in the SD card and using a pair of tweezers we can pull out the old SD card with the label down and put the new one in with the label down making sure it fully goes in the slot and that's all there is to it all you need to do now is plug the hotspot back in and wait 24 to 48 hours for it to sync. If you're impatient, you can run a Bluetooth diagnostics report and when you hit send report, don't send this email, but read it. And in that email, you'll see a block height. View it, wait 20 minutes, come back, check it again and make sure that height's increasing. I hope you liked this video. It would mean a lot to me if you could like this video and consider subscribing if you found the video useful. Bye for now.